In this brief video, we'll show you how plots and layers are organized in Origin. For example, here we have graphed a basic parabolic function. Let's say we plot another line on this same graph. By default, this plot will be superimposed on our previous existing data. However, when you open the Object Manager, you may notice that our new line is listed below the previous function. This is because Origin lists its plots in drawing order, so any object which appears on top of another will be listed last, as it is the last object which the program draws. If we go into the Plot Details dialog, you'll notice the plots will appear in the same order. In this graph, we also have a triangle which is not a part of our data. Shapes and other objects, like text boxes, are not listed in the Object Manager, but can be reordered similarly to objects in many other softwares. If we want this triangle, or any other object, to be placed behind our data, we can do this by simply right-clicking on the object and selecting Push to Back of Data. Similarly, some publications may prefer to have data appear behind the axes of a graph. This can easily be changed by right-clicking on an axis and unchecking Data on Top of Axes. And, if we want our data to appear behind our grid, all we have to do is right-click on an axis and select Grid on Top of Data. Graphs with multiple layers are listed in the same manner. In this example, you'll notice our graph has three different layers with separate y-axes, all plotted over a common x-axis. You may notice as well that while the red line plot appears behind the bar graph in question, its axis remains superimposed upon it. This is because, unlike plots within a layer, layers themselves can be drawn, quote, layer by layer, or by a composite, which we see here. To show this, let's right-click on the layer numbers and select Layer Management. When we change the drawing order from composite to layer by layer, the axis becomes hidden behind the third layer. However, once we go back into the Layer Management dialog, if we rearrange Layer 3 to appear below Layer 2, which has the shaded background, you'll notice this plot disappears altogether. When we change this back from layer to layer to composite, you'll notice that all objects become visible again. One last thing to note about rearranging layers. When you rearrange them in origin without changing their names, they will remain layer 1, 2, and 3, respective to the order they appear, rather than with an individual name. However, if any of these layers are given unique names, they will noticeably rearrange as you alter the visible order. This has been a short demonstration of the general principles which determine plot and layer order in origin 2016.